whether you're developing a large site or a kind of smaller consumer site, you're still going to deal with the same testing issues and browser incompatibilities that you're going to have anywhere. We have a lot of control over the back end of the site, the servers, and, and, and how all that runs. Um, on the front end, of course, you've got no control at all, really. People are viewing sites on all kinds of different devices, and so a lot of time is spent just testing and making sure the experience is good for everybody. We'll estimate anywhere from 20 to 30 uh, percent testing budget on our project, just because there's so many devices and there's so many different screens that you have to account for that we'll have as many as four or five different machines running different versions of different operating systems just so we can test all those different edge cases. We try and test really on all the modern browsers that people are likely to be using. And then of course there's that whole host of mobile devices that we've now got to deal with. And actually that's a big issue because it's not just how it looks on a small screen, it's how it feels. I like the way that Modern IE approaches the use of Internet Explorer for, for developers. They're not assuming that everyone is going to be developing with Windows as their main environment. It's not assuming that everyone is using Internet Explorer as their main browser. We talk a lot about you know, how do we make it easy for people to develop on IE even if they don't have it. Modern IE helps me make sure my site's compatible. Using browser stacks really, really handy for someone like me who does a fair bit of travel. When I'm in my office, uh, I've got virtual machines I can set up, I've got test devices. But once I'm out of the office on a sort of lower powered laptop and I want to test something, I can use browser stack to go and do that. I think that offer, and especially the, the three months free that Microsoft are giving developers, is going to be really, really useful for people. The browser stack integration is, is huge. You install the plugin, click one button, and the next thing you know, you're looking at your site in IE, even if you're running on OS X. It's fully interactive. It shows me exactly what my design is going to look like. I don't have to boot into a virtual machine or boot into a separate partition. It's just there, one click away. I can't think of anything easier. I like the site scan feature. That was, I first thing I did, of course, was just put in some of our URLs to see what came back. You copy and paste your URL in there, and it's going to just scan your site just like that and give you a bunch of suggestions on how you can make it better. I like the fact it highlights things such as vendor prefixes and, and does so in a way that isn't just, you need to do this for Internet Explorer. It does it in a way that is, you know, you need to do this for, for all browsers. If you don't have access to a machine running IE, you should definitely take a look at modern IE. There's just general good practice stuff there, and the more good practice information that's out there on the web, the better as far as I'm concerned.